All right, here we are at Kijimakujik National Park. We're getting ready for a two-day paddle and portage, and also an overnight at one of the yurts. All right, we're out on the water, and we're gonna try to go up the western run to get up to uh, Kijimakujik Lake. All right, so we're at Portage E, and we're gonna do a uh, one, two kilometer portage. Uh, we haven't decided how we're gonna do it, so we might do multiple trips. All right, made it out, Portage E, the hard would carry. That was uh, pretty brutal. It took us about uh, two hours to do. We were trying different portage techniques and see which one would be easier. But now that we're out, at uh, Backcountry Site 25. We're gonna paddle to uh, Portage F, which is uh, a lot shorter uh, portage. Last little bit, we're gonna go around Il Lorignal to uh, Pesquest Landing, which I think is just beyond Portage G, and that's where the yurt uh, is hiding. Uh. One of the reasons why we wanted the yurt is because one, shelter, if it rained, shelter, and two, uh, from our trip in March, there's a wood stove. But, as you can see here, there's no chimney. In fact, there's no stove at all. So, our plan to dry off our wet clothes and stuff ain't happening. So, we uh, drew a line outside here to dry off until it gets a little bit later. We're gonna start a fire here at the campsite here and uh, cook up some food. All right, spent the overnight at the yurt. Nice uh, clear morning today. We're gonna pack up, get ready to uh, do our uh, trip home. So I'm just going to show on the map uh, what the, the rest of our journey is going to look like. Right, so this morning we're going to come up here up the middle, Portage D, go up Corbrier Lake, Portage C, up Puzzle Lake, Portage B, and up North Cranberry Lake to A, and then we come back down, down to your weir. Portage A, this is the last portage of the day. 
Everything's been going very well. This is the longest one of the day, it's about 1.2 kilometers. So we just take our time. By the time we get to the other end, which should be at Backcountry Site 24, stop, have a little bit of lunch, then do the last paddle back to Eel Weir. We see the eel wheel bridge just ahead of us, so we're pretty much done our paddle for today. Check in the description, you'll see all the relevant links uh, about this trip, including uh, a link to the trail shop to provide us with the kayaks for today or for our trip. Also check out the yurt. It is accessible via hike or bike, but you can see also does uh, portage. There's also the geocaching series, which is ready to go. We'll do a more in-depth uh, review of the kayaks in another video, but there's also the uh, Garment Adventure down at the bottom. You can see uh, all the links, track files, waypoints, and all the stuff that we did during our trip. Put down in the comments, tell me know what you think, and we'll see you next time.